Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of Absurd Reality. Today, we're gonna to be going over the ultimate Halloween movie list. The reason I'm doing this is because every single year, I find myself Googling what movies to watch around the Halloween season. The point of this movie list is to introduce you to movies you haven't seen before or remind you of things you haven't seen in a very long time. Now, just like every other episode of High Movies, I blaze the fuck up on some laughing gas. I grabbed myself a pumpkin beer and I sat down and built this list and I present it to you. This list is comprised of all of my favorite films and movies that were introduced to me recently that I've never seen before. We've broken the list down into sections that goes as follows. Universal classic monsters, hidden gems, science fiction, slashers, zombies, all-around favorites, television shows, and comedies. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about each movie. I'm just gonna go through the list. That way I can bring these films to your attention for your enjoyment later on. Let's get started with Universal Classic Monsters. See, what's important about this genre is that many people believe that the Marvel Cinematic Universe was the first shared universe in all of cinematic history, but that's not true. The Universal Monster Universe is the first cinematic universe where characters were shared on screen between different films. Starting off, we've got Dracula, The Wolfman, Frankenstein, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Invisible Man, and The Mummy. Moving on to some hidden gems, The Bride of Frankenstein. I haven't seen this yet. I'm actually gonna watch it tonight. I've heard this movie is phenomenal and I'm super excited to check it out. Next up, The Mask of the Red Death, Eyes Without a Face, and Psycho. Moving on to the next category, science fiction. We're gonna start off with John Carpenter's The Thing. This is one of my favorite films and I watch it every single year. Alien One and Aliens, The Mist, The Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the 1970s version, Scanners, The Faculty, They Live, The Fly, The Blob, and Phantoms. Just because Ben Affleck was the bomb in that shit. Ben Affleck was the bomb in Phantoms. Word, bitch, Phantoms like a motherfucker. The next category is slashers. And we're gonna start this off with the first slasher film ever made, Peeping Tom. Next up, Friday the 13th. You can watch all of these movies. The entire series is just a gem to me. Some of them are good, some of them are a little weird, but all in all, it's a phenomenal series. Scream, one, two, three, and four. But we all know the first Scream's the best one. Shout out to Matthew Lillard and Jamie Kennedy. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween one and two. Next up, A Nightmare on Elm Street. You can watch the entire series. They're all great. They get a little weird as it gets later in the 80s, but the first one is still the best. And rounding this category out, Sleepaway Camp. Moving on to zombies. Pontypool, Shaun of the Dead, you've got red on you. Dawn of the Dead, 1978 and 2004. 28 Days Later, Night of the Living Dead, the original and the remake, Train to Busan, The Last Man on Earth, Omega Man, and I Am Legend. These movies are all essentially the same storyline, just done in different ways. Reanimator, and finally, Michael Jackson's Thriller. You know, if you're gonna sit here and tell me that Thriller doesn't count because it's a music video, number one, there's something wrong with you. Number two, I don't give a shit. If you watch the making of Thriller, there's no doubt about it, that was a full-on production, and that music video deserves to be on this list as it changed the music video game. Next up is All Around Favorites. These are some of the best Halloween movies you can watch. We're gonna start off with one of my favorite, An American Werewolf in London, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Candyman, Child's Play, The Original, The Howling, Hellraiser, Puppet Master, Suspiria, Final Destination 1 and 2, Halloween 3. This movie doesn't star Michael Myers, which is why it wasn't mentioned earlier in the slasher films, but this movie is a gem on its own. The Brood, Evil Dead 1 and 2, and you're gonna wanna round that out and finish out the series with Army of Darkness. Tonight She Comes, The Sixth Sense, After Midnight, Tusk, Phantom of the Paradise, Let's Scare Jessica to Death, From Dusk Till Dawn, Hostel, Sleepy Hollow, The Craft, The Shining, Carrie, The Exorcist, Blade, the first one. Another one of my favorites, The Lost Boys, Urban Legend, Last House on the Left, House of a Thousand Corpses, The Hills Have Eyes, Black Christmas, Christine, Get Out, Children of the Corn, Silver Bullet, Saw. Only the first one though, because the other ones just get ridiculous. 
Pet Cemetery 1 and 2, the original, The Omen, The Amityville Horror. Some people say the original is really good. I prefer the remake with Ryan Reynolds. It's just a little bit scarier. The Fog, I Know What You Did Last Summer. I still know what you did last summer. There's another one called I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer, but I've never seen that shit. I don't think anybody has. Creep Show, Sometimes They Come Back, Critters, Ghoulies, Poltergeist, Fright Night, the original. Not that remake with Colin Farrell, that bullshit. Absolutely not. Nope, 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 nope. And finally, The Entity. Now this one's based on a true story, so definitely check this one out. Moving on, we're gonna hit television shows. Now this is a great category because all this stuff, well, most of the stuff in this category is family friendly. Now, I was raised in a very different way than most people. My family didn't give a shit about what I watched. There may be some things on this list that you don't care for or that you don't wanna share with your young ones. So take this list with some caution. Starting it off, The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, the cartoon. The psych Halloween episodes are all great. Roseanne, the Roseanne Halloween episodes are some of the best episodes on sitcom history. Home Improvement, they have some of the greatest Halloween episodes ever. Goosebumps, the entire series. Boy Meets World, the Halloween episodes are great. Are You Afraid of the Dark, 90s classic. Scooby-Doo, Bob's Burgers Halloween episodes. Family Guy, they've got a few Halloween episodes that are pretty good. The Simpsons, Treehouse of Horror. All of them, every one of them is good. Every one of them is a staple I watch every single year. Fun fact, the first few that came out, Marge would come out and give like a warning to the audience before they watched the film. This is very similar to the warning that was given before they showed Frankenstein in the movie theaters. Stranger Things, the entire series. The Walking Dead, it's all good, but realistically the first three seasons are the best. Fear Street, now there's three films in the Fear Street saga. I only like the first one. The other two were kind of shitty to me. The first one has the best soundtrack anyways. Community, they've got some great Halloween episodes. Modern Family has very funny Halloween episodes and great for the family. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the television show, is one of the best shows in the 90s. If you get into it, you can even follow it up with Angel. Tales from the Crypt, and rounding out the television shows, The Real Ghostbusters, my favorite cartoon growing up. Congrats, guys, we've made it. We're hitting the last list now. We're moving on to comedy. First on the list, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Another one of my favorites, Idle Hands. Up next, who Be Halloween? Now, both Idle Hands and Who Be Halloween have a high movies review. So if you wanna go check those out, you're more than welcome to, they're on the channel. Dracula Dead and Loving It, Scary Movie 1, 2, and 3. The other ones get a little weird. Final Girls, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, The 80s Classic, My Best Friend's a Vampire, Serial Mom, Once Bitten, The Monster Squad, because Wolfman's got nards, Odd Thomas, Happy Death Day, Casper, The Addams Family 1 and 2, the live action movie from the 90s, Vampire in Brooklyn, yeah, it's on this list. Little Monsters, Saturday the 14th, Transylvania 6 5000, at least watch this movie for Gina Davis. Beetlejuice, Hocus Pocus, Halloween Town, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Haunted Honeymoon, Zombieland, Teen Wolf, and my favorite movie of all time, Ghostbusters. I hope this list introduces you to some new movies and you and your friends have a great time watching these films this Halloween season. Do me a favor and smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe to this channel for everything Absurd Reality by clicking the link in the bottom right corner of your screen. That's a wrap for the ultimate Halloween movie list. Happy Halloween, everybody. Be safe. We are out.